was a fun summer night ruined when a wild animal attacked a boy, and it sounds like this was a fisher cat. The animal sunk its teeth into the 12-year-old and would not let go. As Ken McLeod explains, that's when the boy's mother went after the animal with hammers. Those are the top teeth and, and the bottom teeth right there. Wes Brown showed us where the animal chomped on his leg as he tried to scramble inside. It kept coming, even though I like slammed the door on its head and hit it. Even when it let go, it didn't exactly retreat yeah, until mom grabbed a couple of hammers they'd been using to crack open lobsters. I just threw it at it because he was kind of about two feet away and he ran down the walkway. The Browns are pretty sure it was a fisher cat, a badger-like creature not known for its sunny disposition. Their Rehoboth home backs up to some deep woods. Obviously, the fisher cat was not skittish. In fact, it walked into the middle of a noisy party with kids in the pool, adults right here on the screened-in porch, and the Red Sox game blaring on the deck. It really wasn't running away. We were screaming. We were loud, and our presence didn't intimidate it at all. Wes was tossing a football with his cousin when the beast bit him. It fled only after he slammed the screen door on it, and his mom slung those hammers. Today, animal control officers warn neighbors and set a trap should the fisher cat return. It was really fast, so it was coming at me. Of course, doctors are taking no chances with Wes. The 12 year old has already started rabies shots, even though he's not real fond of needles. I got five shots, they're pretty big, but, and they all did it at the same time, so if I did it one by one, it would hurt more. Wes got to watch a little World Cup tonight after his house was besieged by reporters. This is the most attention our family's been given, uh, maybe ever. Still, the scary ordeal seems almost surreal to the Browns. But it was definitely real. <laughs> Wes has the bite to prove that and admits he'll be a bit squeamish now after dark. In Rehoboth, Ken McLeod, WBZ News.